All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Steve Malzberg Show, live from our New York City studios. I want to welcome you aboard the Thursday edition. How could it be Thursday already? Uh, and we have a lot to get to. I want to start with uh, something that I found very, very humorous. I know the networks and the liberals are praising it as the best speech Hillary Clinton ever gave. And maybe so, but that doesn't say much for the quality of her previous speeches in my mind. Uh, she attacked Donald Trump left, right, and center over his foreign policy, his foreign policy statements, his temperament, you name it. This from a woman who was Secretary of State racked up failure after failure after failure. She bragged about her accomplishments though, uh, gaining rights for, for women, gays, lesbians, and transgender, which I didn't know that was the Secretary of State's biggest job. But of course her foundation, the corrupt Clinton Foundation, corrupt in the minds of many, reportedly corrupt, uh, takes money and has taken money from countries that kill gays. So what kind of progress did she make exactly? I mean, the, 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 the speech was laced with hypocrisy coming from Hillary Clinton. Let's hear a little of what she said. Donald Trump's ideas aren't just different. They are dangerously incoherent. They're not even really ideas, just a series of bizarre rants, personal feuds, and outright lies. This from a woman who is a, uh, a, a proven liar, congenital liar, a woman who uh, doesn't think she ever lied to the American people. I mean, a woman who's not trusted calling Donald Trump a liar. That's, that's precious. Here's more. We cannot put the security of our children and grandchildren in Donald Trump's hands. We cannot let him roll the dice with America. This is a man who said that more countries should have nuclear weapons, including Saudi Arabia. This is someone who has threatened to abandon our allies in NATO, the countries that work with us to root out terrorists abroad, before they strike us at home. Of course, he didn't say he's going to abandon NATO. He wants these countries to pay their fair share. She misrepresented almost everything Donald Trump has said, uh, and then CNN defended everything she said as factual. Uh, get a load of this one. Now, I will leave it to the psychiatrist to explain his affection for tyrants. I just wonder how anyone could be so wrong about who America's real friends are. Because it matters. If you don't know exactly who you're dealing with, men like Putin will eat your lunch. Well, Putin ate Hillary's lunch and Obama's lunch and an affection and an affinity for, for dictators. Remember the bear hug from Hugo Chavez when he gave Obama a book? Remember how they hugged and embraced? How about Castro? He's in love with Castro. How about the Ayatollah of Iran? That's just to name three that her and her boss were in love with and are in love with. Well, Chavez is dead. And Cap yeah, you get my point. Hypocrisy, lies, distortions. I am Hillary Clinton. What would you expect? Now, um, tweeting out, Trump tweeted this in response to that speech. There it is on the screen. Bad performance by crooked Hillary Clinton. Reading poorly from the teleprompter, she doesn't even look presidential. All right. Paul Ryan had a tweet of his own today. You might find it interesting. Let's put that up, shall we? I'll be voting for Donald Trump this fall. I'm confident he will help turn the House GOP's agenda into laws. And now I guess we're all supposed to go, oh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Come on. Enough already. Who cares, really? Uh, it just took him so long. He played cutesy. I don't really care what he does. Um, I hope he loses in his, in his primary challenge uh, in Wisconsin. 